Rogue. Rogue. Yeah. The Rouge. The Rogue class. All right. So uh, if you haven't watched our Guardian video, you should go watch watch our Guardian video. We're gonna. There's a lot of stuff that we're gonna reference that we talked about in that last one that we're not. Even gonna... if you're not interested in playing a blue character, mm -hmm. it's yeah. important. Uh, so we'll start with Switchblade. It's with the name of the Rogue, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't have the red class be the Rogue. Yeah, what's the survivalist? Is the red the survivor? One? Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Switchblade, one attack, one foot, fast, as an action, fight. If you succeed by two or more, this attack deals plus one damage. This card right. is in the running for the worst one in the course So set. I'm going to yeah. preface this by saying <laughs> that the biggest weakness that green has is that all of their cards are pretty fair and well designed. Mm. Um, that being said, this card is not good. No. <laughs> Um, like this card is like, like well designed, I guess, but it's not. I fair. play it it's in the core like set the where I have access to no other real weapons beyond the Derringer and yeah. the knife. It's a sad day when I'm you're okay with it. Then, when you're playing the core set, but like I, I, I don't want to imagine the world. You're playing one copy of the core set, doing a solo green character, and you pull yeah. out your switchblade, and you're like, wait, this actually doesn't do anything, and then a ghoul eats you in your house, right? <laughs> that's a good uh, way to be like, man, the game's shit. I'm that's not, not entirely true. Yeah. <laughs> um, this card makes another card in the core set better in the core set. Uh, we'll talk about that Man, when we get to it. Even if you were playing like green character solo in the core set, you just play two machetes. I mean, skids because can skids blue. can play machetes. Like, it's, uh, yeah, no. Like if you're if you're playing um, if you're playing solo in the core set, this card is not good because you have access just, to all the good blue weapons. Yeah, but this card's so bad. The only reason I've ever put this in my deck is because I intend to else, upgrade it to the level two. Switch and this is there first. to remind you. Yeah, yeah, to remind me that that's what I want to do. Yeah, because like I mean, I feel like the card <laughs> like like what 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 you said, Bryn. They're the, they're very fair cards. They're, I feel yeah. like this card would benefit from a, just a plus one fist for the attack. Uh, something noble with this one. It does have like an yeah. illicit uh, trait. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some yeah, kind is... of character that like let them do something. Or, cards, uh, or cards that care about illicit cards. Yeah, yeah like whenever you play illicit yeah, card, no. draw card. This would be very right. good. It'd be one like one resource fast draw card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very good. Uh, That'd be like playable. <laughs> yeah. So, so so rogue. Yeah. So yeah. green. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. And this, um, this card is this card is not great if you're playing with core set only and you're playing with someone who's also playing a blue character then i think you want to play this card because you don't have access to any other weapons and mm -hmm. two damage does kill something you're playing course only and playing with someone else has a blue character i think you should play not green i i think you were like i wouldn't disagree but it's what i did i yeah. think you were gimping your team and you were, uh, like making a decision no, not, that is intentionally making your team not worse. entirely true uh, mm -hmm. The first time we okay. played, we fought that giant skull man, and then we killed him with the switchblade, Patrick's boots, and a baseball bat. Devin Wade Graham, we had like a purple character though. Oh yeah, you no, could, for like, sure. Yeah. If we had things, it would have gone better, but we didn't. No, my point is like, if you're gonna play green in the course and it's also playing blue, like yeah. you just play any other character. Please. Yeah, that's like if you're playing with two people, for sure. If you're playing yeah. with three people, also probably for sure. Skids, <laughs> Skids is strong. <laughs> And there are some there are some quite powerful upgraded green cards you can play out of the core set, especially with skids. Yeah, but not the but best like, choice when it's just you know if you've got a blue guy already, maybe you, your team doesn't need skids. Oh, yeah. I feel bad. Poor Switch plays like lying on the ground crying. We're still just kicking it. I mean, like it's <laughs> your garbage. <laughs> like like you look at the card and you 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 my mind when I read it the first time I did not see that it didn't increase your attack. no it does it does almost yeah. nothing yeah it's a little like however it costs nice. almost nothing yes that's true so you know you're mm -hmm. kind of getting what you pay for All right, we got burglary uh, one uh, resource commits for a book exhaust burglary investigate if you exceed instead of discovering clues gain three resources you know get some more than you pay for mm -hmm. education yeah, yeah that's true but like that card's Dirt. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about higher education yeah. in every video. Uh, anyway, bur burglary is one of the cool things you can do with really green that isn't yeah. find resources or fight or run. Yeah. Because uh, you can go to a place that has like zero shroud and you can be like, I'm going to steal shit from these people. The thing though there's is There's no one there. It's like a, there's trees, but you find money. The thing though is that if like, to me, what this card does is it makes me not trust my teammate. Because if they're on a location and they do this action when there's a clue there, and they get resources, and I'm like, why? And they're like, trust me. And I'm like, no, I don't trust you. If you investigate with this, you don't get the clues ever. Yeah. yeah. If you're using this, yeah, you yeah, have uh, to take the money. Yeah. Um, I think that's like... I think getting money as green characters is a solid thing. It's something that you want to, you mm -hmm. want to have a lot of money no matter which green character you're playing. Unless you're Jenny, then it doesn't matter. You just no, if you're Jenny, you still want to have a lot of money. You just don't, you have, to, have, you you just do. don't have to do anything to yeah. get it. Yeah, you yeah. just do. It's, um, well, this card is like, 
to me, this isn't a good card on its own, but it's a uh, it's a cog in the machine. Yeah, yeah. and it, like it does have the potential when you after mm -hmm. the first action and resource to do it essentially become a, a becomes pretty like reliable emergency, emergency cash. cash. Yeah. Like when this card, where this card really shines, I think is the Ashcan P decks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would do being able to investigate and like there's a couple of red cards that support investigating as well and just like the increase you spend your action to get three resources instead I, of like I think with uh, Duke clear. though Duke is his own oh, yeah, Duke is his, yeah, his yeah, own thinking of action thinking but... of the red card that gets you the thing yeah. I'm thinking of a different card for that part cool no I do think that this card has a niche yeah and like it's the only card that really feel fills that niche right now and it, but like, uh, that's yeah. some uh, that's some higher level deck building that I think most people are going to put into this game. Yeah, and I will say again, the green cards I don't trust a lot like of it, people when they do them. They're just weird and suspicious. Yeah, like, and and uh, like most green cards, this card is pretty fair. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do anything broken. I don't like green cards because I let other people take actions and it takes longer to my turn. <laughs> 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 This card, however, for the decks that want it, is insane. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this card's very good. Two uh, resources, commits her foot, uh, reaction after you evade an enemy, exhaust picket bucketing to draw one card. Yeah. I'm going to say, this is, like, probably it's, top three. Uh, I'd probably put it in, like, top four, I think, out of core set green. Yeah, are we including experience cards? Yes. I am yes, including, okay, that's I am, like top five. I'm including experience cards. I think these are both better. They're both saying for, like top three, top five, I, like but it's one, both their two, number one. Three, four, yeah, but it's five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, like one, I'm counting two, three, I'm counting, four, I'm five. counting I'm counting that guy as like a different guy than the other this, one. This okay, well it's yeah. top six for me. I think this is worse than like backstab, Leo, other Leo, sneak attack, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. But like uh, for for like non experienced cards, this is yeah. definitely It's top a very five. good card. Yeah, like is what we're uh, we're saying here. For green, this card like, is weirdly good for green. Yeah. A lot of the time what you're trying to do is you're trying to evade an enemy so your team just doesn't have to deal with it this turn. It's not a problem now. Yeah. This card just rewards you for doing that. Yeah. However, also like out of the corset investigators, the red one lets you splash green and the red one is also about running away from things. Yes. Which means this card is also very strong there. I think I think this card is just good. What's this card it, it's also quite good in uh, a reason it's quite good in green is because green <clears> tends to accumulate a lot of resources, mm -hmm. and this gives you cards which lets you get yeah. things with those resources, which yeah. is, I mean, generally yeah, it the best gives you, thing yeah, you can do with the resources. Green gives you and also additional actions, so you can do Some, more yeah, things yeah, with like your you resources. Get, you, get, you get to do all kinds of cool things for red, in the in the red instance where you might be playing it. It just gives you more cards to discard to effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then there's a question that's a lot of, like, of what red wants to do. Yeah, it's uh, in. It's just, and it's and it makes sense. The card is mm -hmm. like you don't have to even jump through no, hoops to just, do it. You, you just, just play the game. This is one of the few green cards that isn't like very good, but also isn't hot trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's, it's for the decks that want it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very strong. Yeah. I'm not gonna try and tell you that it's like one of the best cards in the game. No. It's not, but it's just it's really solid and, and it's, it's reliable. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there aren't and there aren't many green cards that are just good. The 41 yeah. Derringer. Yeah, we're yeah. getting to the cards uh, for green that are kind of, that are like starting to be really good, but this isn't one of them. So, three uh, resources. Yeah. <laughs> commits for a fist, three ammo, spend one ammo as an action, fight, you get plus two for this attack. If you succeed by two or more, this attack deals plus one damage. We make a lot of jokes when we play Elder Tor and Arkham Horror about the Derringer being a garbage weapon, yeah. and this just continues the trend, I think. Um, I mean, like, it yeah. also makes sense for the flavor, mm -hmm. right? You can't have your Derringer doing more than. Like I mean, a like, no, that, like yeah. no. part of it is like the the damage, like not. Doing it's a garbage. It's, it's just a like garbage an inherent. Gun. Yeah. yeah. You're but I, I don't like small bullets. It's not going to hurt anybody. Separate from the quality of the card, the flavor I like it is because mm -hmm. if you see so succeed so well, you like shoot them in the the eye. Yeah. They're, and they're like, oh, oh God, my eye. Yeah. I mean, like this card to me is like. I think this was part of design's decision and why they made Switchblade so bad. Like, realistically, if I was on a design course, that Switchblade will cost two, give you plus one, and then if you succeed by two or more, it gives, deals plus one damage. But this is like, it's like they skip sort of a middle step and they just have the Switchblade be like under costed trash, mm -hmm. and this one be like over costed trash. Yeah, I don't understand why this Derringer is not fast at all. Like, flavor wise, the Derringer is like a sleeve gun. Like, mm -hmm. You know, you're not gonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Like, point. you should just have it. You know, like this card is just like in top, and it's not good if it's not fast. This card's mm -hmm. actual like fight Even action it... isn't awful, yeah. but everything else about it is underwhelming. Like it costs three money, it only mm -hmm. commits for one symbol. Yep. You can only use it three times. It's not fast. It's the fight like plus two punch is is good. Yeah. Um, succeed by two more as attack deals plus one damage is like not awful. No. Yeah. It does, it's... I wouldn't feel bad about using it for sure. But, it's not like, why you're playing the card, but just everything else is just so. Yeah. Inspiring. Green has this weird, like, under theme of 
Hurts like really succeeding bad. by two or more, and it's not good because <laughs> you have to overcommit for everything. If you that's not just it. that's not just green. Uh, that's like that's something. I mean, like it's green for the for for the core set for sure. But as we get later on, like that's yeah, what some other uh, some do. other colors get to do it too. I mm-hmm. uh, like yellow has the uh, uh, deduction, the upgraded one requires yeah. you to succeed by yep. two or more. Uh, like Rex requires you to succeed by two or more on color for the card that gave you plus three to every interaction. No, but it's it is it is mostly a green, mostly a green thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it's not yeah not very good. I do actually like their color balance in these, where everything's good stuff, but add like their own thing. But like other things tend to they have their own themes, but all the themes kind mm-hmm. of bleed into other colors yeah. a bit. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the second best card in the core set. Oh man, I was our boy. Best. Well, yeah, no, second best because there's a better version of it. Then it's third best. I think Mache is still the best in the core set. All right. Just because, like, you need to kill oh, things. Man. Here's a card I've never had the opportunity to play with, but I, I, I already know he's good. Six resources, Leo DeLuca commits for one book, but don't. Uh, you, I mean, don't. you haven't played this because like someone else has been playing every campaign. Yep. Uh, you may take, yeah, you may take an additional action during your turn. Two brain, two uh, heart. He is very strong. Uh, I think it like <clears throat> at six cost, for no experience, this Leo DeLuca is good but balanced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other one's like trending on too good. Right. But. but I mean like I feel like spending the, the experience mm-hmm. is worth the time to make yeah. him a bit yeah. too good. When I'm saying when I'm saying trending on like too good, I don't mean like higher education in terms level of, good. <laughs> yeah, I like mean, in terms like, of green cards he might be too good. I mean yeah. like no, okay, I just sure, mean like fair, top you two. got me. Like your deck should your green deck should have Two copies of Leo DeLuca, I think. Yes. Yeah, always. Yeah. You want um, one on your first um, like on your first turn, it's like just think of all of the actions he's gonna give you through. I could game. see in the future, like potentially there's other cards that def- or like not necessarily other cards, but like other builds that you might not want him in as more cards get released. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. right now, like Leo DeLuca, they're just yeah. He's just so good. He's just so the good. only the only thing that sucks about the Louisiana Lion <laughs> is that he makes all of the other green allies bad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you, you have to judge. Uh, like, there, but... there are other allies and they're pretty okay. But you have they to judge them against things. Leo like, Luca. Yeah. Do you really want to play them instead of, instead of Leo? The answer is no. I think no, there's a not. very strong green charisma build. Uh, that I mean, like, you haven't had the opportunity to play because, because the cards somebody... <laughs> weren't there for it for their first no, that's, campaign. that's true. Like, the last Dunwich campaign, I played, like, Wendy Adams. Yeah. Charisma build with the Red yeah. Glove Man, and then, like, this time you play, yeah. like, Event Tribal. No, uh, Charisma does seem, but... does seem solid for green because you're pretty much always taking up your ally slot with Leo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then Charisma gives you an extra ally slot. It lets you actually play with some of the other allies in the game. Yeah. And like the going back to like the cost of six is yeah. worth it, and you get back those resources uh, pretty quick. I've, I've heard the argument that he's bad because it takes six turns for him to pay for himself. But, he but gaining a resource is actually the weakest action. Yeah, I would say that he. Well, if if you go by that, there's three turns so, for him to pay for himself. Because I mean, like in general, yes, yeah, so the weakest action you can probably take is to like draw a card, then draw your weakness. And you're like, well, <laughs> yeah, okay. So like draw, drawing a card conditionally like, could be a weaker. Yeah, right? I think. Uh, I think like. Judging him as like, like his, his effect is gain something. an extra yeah. resource every turn, that's not good. Yeah. But the fact that it's do anything you want every turn, yeah, he gets, that's, yeah. that's crazy. We talk a lot about like tempo and uh, resource management when we play Arkham, the card game, especially like if you watch mm-hmm. some of our second playthrough of Dunwich Legacy, where we're focused more on like playing the game well as opposed to like exploring the scenarios and stuff. Um, and like just adding an extra thirty three percent to your yeah. turn is a huge yeah, bonus. Pay, and like pay six pay six money, thirty three percent more character mm-hmm. per turn. And then also going like well, right. Travis about the is it the ancient evils, the mm-hmm. one that basically removes three actions from every player. Mm-hmm. If you have Leo You still get to play. Yeah. Kind of like, like sort yeah, of. like it, you still lose them at the moment, but it's the way to yeah. basically with uh yeah. Travis's thoughts on that. Compete against the game for actions, right? For those of you who who haven't heard me talk about Ancient Evils, is the strongest of those cards in the game, in my opinion. It's be- like it scales super hard with players. Like when we play three players, it takes away a full turn. That's like nine actions yeah. from us. Yeah, it's like this insane swing in the game's favor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that it is. Anyway, so, moral of this story is that if you're not playing Leo DeLuca, you should be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Probably. Uh, even if you have to pay experience to put the zero level one into your deck, you should. Uh, um, if you're playing like Wendy, earlier, and maybe at you get to buy the zero one after, uh, after, mm-hmm. like, you know, hypothetical the hypothetical green player on your team is done. It's still worthwhile, I think. You haven't fallen asleep. Yeah. 
Hard Knocks. We talked about a lot of uh, this card on both the Guardian and the Seeker video, so this one's going to be less, less. But I mean, like this card's a bit better than the other ones. This green yeah. has access to more money. Green yes. has access to a lot of money, so so you need things to do with your money. And this I is will a thing say, to do. Punch and Foot are like the two, like Foot is Green's biggest thing. They mm -hmm. have other, over other classes are good at evading, and like Punch is like their sort of secondary one, especially in the core set. It's I think it's probably so, the best one out of the core set. I mean, like the other one, the other one, I, the only reason I think it would it was better is because it gives you brain, and brain is like purple's big thing. But that's mm -hmm. we'll get to that. But like, yeah, what's right really now. good about this one, hard knocks, especially when you're playing solo, yeah. is that there's going to be monsters sense. that you have to kill, and yep. you can. And uh, if you remember, to kill them. we showed you yep. two shitty green weapons that cared about <laughs> you succeeding by two or more. This will help you do that. Yes, uh, this yeah. makes those weapons slightly mm -hmm. less shit. Also, instead of getting, like, a cool art, like, this hyper-awareness where she sees, like, colors. Just yeah, this, guy, this guy's just, he's just drinking. Yeah, yeah or, like, the physical like, training where they're, like, tough. working out. This is a guy who's just drunk. I this mean, I, I feel like we're gonna the, see if that makes it easier. the flavor of green is the best for all their cards. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why drinking liquor makes you better at running. Because in my experience, it's always done the opposite. But... Well, in your mind, it makes you better at running. <laughs> and all of Cthulhu is just in your mind. I like the flavor of red a lot. Oh, yeah, red is my number two. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I like blues events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was yeah, I not much to say about this guy. Not much no, else. No, not really. Like yeah. it's it's good because of the stats it provides. You want because more about that? Go listen to the blue because one, green the green Guardian. needs that kind of thing. It yeah. needs something to do, do with his money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Elusive uh, commits uh, for book and foot two resources. Fast play only during your turn. Disengage from each enemy. Engage with you and move to a revealed location with no enemies. I've never played this card. This card is either the best card in your deck or the worst card in your deck. It really depends on this on the scenario. For example, if you're playing like Curse of the Ruguru or uh, Carnivale, where you have to move to a specific place, or you need to get somewhere very quickly and enemies are trying to bog you down, this card's insane. Like, yeah, it seems. If you're not, it doesn't do anything. So, would this trigger an attack of opportunity or no? no it's fast. Fast, right? Yeah, Those okay. ones don't? Yeah. Um, they don't cost you an action. I mean, like, I feel like I would comfortably run this as a I've, one of... I've been, yeah, I've been playing one. I would never... Mostly. I would never, as a general rule, I mean, like, at least with a card pool available, I wouldn't ever feel bad about running, like, two of these in my just, like, zero cost and no experience deck. Yeah. It's just, it's a fine card. Yeah. Like, it's... Like, I, again, I've never, I haven't played with it, but, like, it's, just looking at it and using my... Probably, yeah, my knowledge of game, probably some par card evaluation skills. I think this card's just, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, it does, it does me, work. To me, what this is really good is, I mean, like, I, I, there's a caveat in this card that you can't, you're going to remember the time that it made you escape from, like, three enemies and won you the game, mm -hmm. but you can't judge it on that. This is a card that can uh, yeah, rot that, in your hand. That's not a problem with the card, uh, that's a problem with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a problem <laughs> with you. Yeah. So, like, the card's fine, and I feel like it's, it can... It can be as dependable as you want it, or it can just be just sitting in your hand and doing nothing. Yeah, I, find, I find this card is very scenario dependent, so I'm never use, I never I believe the looked to play more than one. Yeah, I agree. But I read it's also an upgrade version, which is much better. Ooh, but that's exciting. I like not in this, not in the corset. Yeah, not in the corset. Yeah, I it, believe it, the it word you guys for, for uh, situational. It discards for two different uh, two different symbols. So mm -hmm. if you are in a scenario where you can't use it and you have it sitting in your hand, you can probably just throw it away to do something better. Mm -hmm. Backstab. <clears throat> Three resources. Fight. This attack uses foot instead of fist. This attack deals plus two damage. This card is very, very good. Mm -hmm. It's a strong consideration for every deck that can play it, I think, except for Mark mm -hmm. Harrigan, because... Because he doesn't need to fight with his feet, why he would fights he... with his fists. Yeah, why wouldn't he just punch things normally? Because but... he, he wants to be a yeah. showman about he can play it. Plus, this uh, uh, plus two damage is <laughs> a huge thing for like the Asphaloth factor that we were yes. talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. A lot of enemies have three health, and that's meant to make them a little harder to kill. This Even card, if it's just a you don't shot, care. It's fine. You just kill them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of green characters and uh, some of the red characters who have access to green cards have very high foot. So a lot of the time you're like, I can't fight this guy. I don't have enough fist for this, but I do have enough foot to fight him. I've noted like, um, I feel like it strikes a nice balance because mind over matter costs one. But you get it for all the tests, but it doesn't deal any extra damage if you <laughs> yeah. attack. Yeah. So I feel like it's very fairly yeah. balanced. Mind over matters thing isn't for like killing enemies. You use it for just doing other tests. Yeah, like I said, like there's mm -hmm. a long door you need to get into. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a lot of green cards. It's quite fair and reasonably good at the thing it does. It costs maybe a little more money than it should, but as green, you usually have more money than you're real than you really need. Yeah. So. Uh, sneak attack! Two resources, commits for book and fist, deal two damage to an exhausted enemy at your location. For the same reason that 
Backstab Lots of other good. cards we've talked about are good. This card is also good. However, this card is, is all. I'd argue has, this uh, card is better. Yeah, than because backstab. you don't have to make a test to yes, make it happen. You, just, you do have to evade them because they have to be exhausted. But you have other cards that can do that potentially. Yeah. yeah. But also, the evading test is usually easier than the combat Shh. test. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. two free damage. Yeah. Which is the, uh, you know, it's good. It, again, again, it discards for two different symbols, which is not less good great, than but hey. discarding for two of the same, but it also means that if you don't run into a scenario where you can use it, you can throw it away for something at some point along the, yeah. the course of the game. Oh, seek attack's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it's anytime you can do something without having to do a test. It's definitely one of those green cards that I mentioned, like, you know, like, really good. And, like, on that side of the spectrum, as opposed to being, like, awful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, the next one. Op or two nest. <laughs> this card is a fucking trap. Remember Commits for we a wild. About two or more being a green yeah. theme. This one's this one's three or more worse. because you have, you commit it and they're like, oh well, it'll have, you'll have plus one, so mm -hmm. that's like two or more. It, it doesn't do anything. This card is bad. Yeah. So if you I, succeed by three more, return it to your hand after this test. So yeah, you can only if commit it to your own. Could do this. Could use this card. It'd be yeah. insane. Uh, yeah. I feel or, like, or if you could commit it to another person's test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The card great, would be alright. Right. That, that came out like sometime. Yeah, I think it just comes back to your hand on like two or less. Two or less. <laughs> I, think, I don't think it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like if if you could commit it to nope. any test. Uh, yeah, you can only commit. Min would want to run test. like. It's only worth plus one. Mm -hmm. It's just not good. You're probably going to end up discarding it and not getting it back most of the time. You should just play, you know, like uh, wow, like courage or uh, one well, one of, one of the specific shit. ones. The card is just bad. Yeah. yeah. No matter what they've done to it, it doesn't get better. Don't play this don't, card. Don't play with this card. It's it's even just like a chubby lay stealing wine. <sighs> it's not good. Yeah. Next card, please. Sure. Yeah. This is the upgrade is Leo. So, like, if you've got the Louisiana Lion, but he's also better and faster and stronger. Yeah. Just costs one less. Like, That's the only change, yeah, right? He costs one less. Part That's the, the change. Here. Crew. But he also means that you, it means you can just play him for your starting resources and just start playing the game with four actions every turn. He's mm -hmm. very strong. Yeah. This one is better than the other one because it costs less. Yeah. This is Leo, but better. Yep, yeah. that's it. That's like, that's it. That's what we got to say about it. I also <laughs> like it because like you can see they were like, okay, this card's really good, so we can't go too <laughs> yeah. far for yeah. the change. upgraded version. It didn't change much. There where's, our, like, where's our five mm. experience Leo DeLuca fantasy <laughs> fight? Cost zero. Oh no, it, co it costs like, it would still cost five. You just have like three health and three brains. They give you like three extra actions every turn. It's just like... <laughs> what, if, what about an upgraded Leo that gave you an additional action and then one action of either resource or draw a card? Do you think that would be? That'd be. I, I think that that'd be worth like three or four experience. Yeah, I think that'd be like also like a reasonable upgrade for. Or potentially like an extra action that you could use, or a second extra action you could use as like a move or evade. Yeah. Because he's a smuggler. Man, that'd be yeah. sick. All right, fantasy flight. Call. Or even just like plus plus one we're foot on the, the tax box. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Cat burglar. Uh, so he's an ally. So we're just gonna say Cat that. So yeah. he's you he's know a green. He's a green ally. That means he sucks. But we'll still talk about him. Uh, well, ten Leo Deluca's not here. Four uh, <laughs> resources. One experience. Brain and foot. You get plus one foot. Exhaust him. Disengage from yeah. each enemy. Engage with you and move to a connecting location. This location does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So like if Leo Deluca didn't exist, this card would be very good. Yeah. yeah. Plus one foot is awesome for green characters. Most mm -hmm. of them care about having high foot. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and like the action to just get out of something where you've decided maybe there's too much stuff to deal with here and you don't want to figure it out. Well, yeah. This card's like actually really good. The card is strong. <laughs> yeah. The only the only thing that sucks about it is that Leo DeLuca exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. If I were playing with one core set, I would definitely mm -hmm. be looking to put a copy of Cat Burglar in my deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I could see this like seeing play potentially over Leo Deluca, like a charisma. I mean, not a charisma build. Um, if there's like some a really strong evade build that comes up, mm -hmm. uh, more mm -hmm. cards that let you like recycle events, so you can like sneak attack and backstab your way to victory. Yeah, definitely. I think Cat Burglar could be a, a big part of that. Yeah. Cat Burglar is Cat like, Burglar is very good. Your hand. Mm -hmm. I think like then you could be like the problem is is like he his ability has to be worth more of you than the generic action you get from leo which is like move resource or do an action mm -hmm. or play a yeah. card yeah and like if you're triggering like you know a pickpocketing and exhausting the guy for sneak it's attack and like, evading him it's like you got an extra action like that's better than an action yeah. though that's like an action and a half two actions ish yeah in that scenario he's better than leo but you can't rely on him being yeah, consistently. Yeah. Uh, if you're playing, if you're playing with only one core set, I think he's 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 something that I'd want in my deck. 
Uh, even if you're not playing with only one core set, if you're playing a green charisma build, mm -hmm. then I think I want him in my deck. Yeah. Because yeah. he's very strong. I've even played one copy in addition to my two Leos because he discards for two, two different icons. Again, worse than discarding for two of the same, but it means it's probably not going to be dead. If being honest, green doesn't have like a ton of card draw in general. No. And like running a third ally alongside your two Leos your you're two probably Leos not gonna isn't see them all. bad. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it's not the worst thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd argue that Green's card draw is the fourth action from Leo to Luca as well. You could just be like, yeah, Joker. like I'll pick up two cards every turn. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah this one is like the flavor. Like this the, is more like one the of the flavor green cards. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, two. this is the strongest green card I think. In the sure, gamble. Side. Two resources, three experience, fast. Play up to reveal a chaos token with a negative modifier. Okay. Switch that token to a, po a positive negative yeah, modifier. Yeah. So this uh, this card is. If you're playing green, this card is the first card you should be looking to buy with your experience, always. Uh, it costs three, it's expensive, but its effect means that sometimes even when you couldn't do a thing, you can. Mm -hmm. You might as well try. You can try, because if you get minus six or minus four, you're like, sweet, plus four. Yeah, that's a big thing about I'll green, pass. is a lot of the cards promote, like, engaging in the game's variance, and it's very fun mm -hmm. and very swingy. Yeah. But, like, it, doesn't it leads to good gameplay strong, stories, always. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, if you're trying to win, it's not so good. Yeah. But, like, this one can really... Like, this one is just, like, the game's, like, you lose, and you're, like, no, 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 no. Like, how about I don't? Yeah, how I about win. you lose? I win. <laughs> Except sometimes you're, like, oh, I got this sure gamble. Yeah. In case I flip, you draw the red one. And then you draw the, the red one, like, and you're, like, oh. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, then. Yeah. You win, game. Yeah. <laughs> got you good. Yeah, I guess I'm, well, I'm, you sure I got I'm me. fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think this card is, like... One of is I think it, I think it is the strongest green card in the core set. It just lets you feel so. I don't know that it's the strongest green card that exists, mm -hmm. but it is, very, it is very. It is very powerful. It lets you feel so safe, which is very yeah. like it's like mm -hmm. the disc of Azam or whatever it is. It's just like nah, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I'm what, okay. What am I trying to do? How 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 does this go wrong? Yeah. It can't. This card is very very strong. Again, as you get to higher um, difficulties and like playing mm -hmm. by yourself. In that, especially like Safina, where she has the cards that can copy. You can, yeah, you can events. play more than one sure gamble, like off one sure gamble. It also supports the green cards that require you to succeed by X or more. Yeah, uh, that being said, you can said, be like minus four, like it no, doesn't, just crush uh, this it head. doesn't make opportunist good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like still, still, don't, still don't play that card. The other ones are the other <clears throat> ones are okay, they're not bad, but opportunist is just hot garbage. Hot streak, three resources, four experience, commits for a wild. Gain 10 resources. Yeah, so like the other card may have been the embodiment of green gameplay. This is green card design. This one is green card design. Yeah. This card would be insane in any color except for green. Uh, in green, I would argue it's best out of the core set heroes because for skids, this represents 10 extra act or four, sorry, not 10 extra action, five extra actions like, over the course of five turns. It's like three and a half extra actions because you spend three resources on it. Plus sure. Seven. But you, spent yeah, three, like you, but you spent three resources for five extra actions. Yeah. Right? Like, yes, it's the, card, the card is good. A green wants to have mm -hmm. a lot of money. Green's effects are very expensive, usually. So, yeah, but like if you look at other colors, like for like blue, this pays for shotgun plus two extra ammunitions. For yellow, this is like mm -hmm. plus 30 with higher oh, education. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things that like it's it to me kind of reminds me of the shotgun where it's a cool card and you read it and you're like oh this is nice and elegant and sounds awesome but I don't it's uh, not something I go out of my way to try and pick up but it's like when I'm going into the the end the end of a campaign and I've already picked up all the core pieces that I usually that I want like you know no, my, sure, my sure gambles sick. yeah then yeah I want to I want to pick up hot streaks that card that card's good you can never have too much money.